All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. Now that the wedding is over, what's your next plan? First, I'm calling up the Dubai on a moon trip. I'm thinking okay. we could just, you know, do it in the country, at home. Have you discussed with her, your wife? What has this got to do with her? Everything. <laughs> I mean, she got... She should know. I'm the one who makes all the decisions. I am the man. I'm responsible for all the bills, right? So, I also get to decide what we can and cannot afford. I understand each other. But now you're a married man and... <laughs> I think you should learn to use less of the I word and more of the we word. Mm -hmm. She's your wife now. You should consult her on every decision. Like this one. Is that what marriage is about to you? Partly, if not everything. Mm. That's why it's called partnership. So in other words, she gets to know everything I plan. Yes. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> hey, babe. Where are you going to all dressed up? Uh, I really have to rush to the office. Office? Yes, I've got to meet up with David and this um, um, group of oil companies that um, I told you about that we're merging together to do a deal, remember? Yeah, I remember, but you didn't tell me that was happening today. I'm so sorry, I forgot, okay. So you called up our honeymoon without even telling me? Hey, we can't lock ourselves in the house forever now, you know this. I know that, but you need to include me in your plans and decision making. It's... Or you don't realize you're married now. These things are not that important, my darling. They are important to me. It gives me assurance that I have relevance in your life. Anyway, just sit. Let me get the rest of the food. Oh, no, no. I can't do that. I have to hurry. Okay. I'll microwave it for when you get back. All right. Thank you. I have to hurry now. Come here. Mm, I'll see you soon, okay? You know, Tracy, my anger is not just that I'm pregnant. It is about what this pregnancy would lead to. I don't understand you. You will not understand, Tracy. You will not understand until what I'm saying starts to happen. I know what it is for somebody to go into something they are not ready for. I know what that does. I'm a career woman and I know what this mistake we have made is going to cost me. I need you to stop saying that, Amanda. It won't cost you anything. What can it possibly cost you to have your own child? And usually it's, usually it's the woman that will have to give up her job, give up her career to sit at home and, and take care of the baby. Alright guys, let's talk about this, my first love. The big thing here boils on communication. As you can see, the guy was thinking that because he's the breadwinner that he shouldn't discuss issues with the wife. That's not correct. Communication is like a big deal with families. You know, it's always good to tell them about your plans, uh, especially if it's something that impacts her too. But even if it's not, still tell her anyway, because that makes her feel inclusive of whatever decision that you are taking. There's a lot of scenarios where guys would tell you that because they're the one that's bringing out the money and the one that's making it, because of that, they reserve the right to decide whether something would happen or not. One thing that you should observe is that most of the times your wife will not say you shouldn't do what has to be done. You know, when she sees that it has to do with the family, she's still going to agree with you. But letting her in on it is just a way of you letting her be part of the family that she is. Definitely, it's a good idea. I know it's outside that traditional cultural thing but i believe that even back in those days you know the moms and the dads used to still sit down and talk about things how it will get done although it's the guy that will still go and do it or make it happen you know and it makes her feel good so she was right by demanding um or requesting that you know uh, he loop her in on everything now let's now look at the other part when it the pregnancy thing came up. She doesn't want to have the child because, you know, all that stuff because she's a career woman. See, communication comes in again because this is the kind of things that you knew would happen when you get married. And that's why our other uh, discussion when we talked about being ready to be a wife and just wanting to marry, 
you know the the difference between two of them you know you guys should actually take a look at that one that actually opens up a lot about you know the difference between just wanting to get married and being ready to be a wife the fact that she's wanting to put off childbearing easily makes you wonder if it's just wanting to get married that she was all about or, or the whole factor of being ready to raise a family if that's what was on her mind because you know obviously she's not ready to have children so um the marriage was just for the glam without placing judgment on anybody let's look at it from a bright angle when you get committed in a relationship the commitment is not the big deal sticking to the person they are not cheating on you you are not cheating on them that's not the big deal the big deal in a marriage is selflessness you have to be ready and willing cheerfully to make yourself available for the better or to give up something about you for the greater good of the family unit in general so this is something that our young ladies need to keep in mind uh, you might marry somebody for one reason or another you know but you still have to remember that when the family unit starts the greater good of the family becomes important so whatever your reason for marrying if you are not ready to factor that into the equation then maybe you shouldn't be marrying you know maybe you should stay single and enjoy your singlehood it's not a crime to be single you know it's not so um that's just the little point that we have to make here communication is imperative it's very very necessary and in the absence of it there's almost always a breakdown in the relationship you know people start mistrusting people stop believing when i say communication is on both ways so uh, don't expect one party to be the one that's doing the communicating and then you just sit and be listening you know you also have to make your own input if you're not making the input and you're just taking everything and agreeing what happens is after a while you will start feeling resentment like you know you know this man made this decision this man made this decision and now you uh you have to suffer for it you know but if you are part of that you know put your own input say your mind you know then you know even if that decision you guys made together is not working out as planned at least you will feel like you are part of the party that made the decision that's all i have for this one guys if you love this kind of discussions please like subscribe share follow this is CJ from McNary Studios and I'm here to deliver sense.